Was that? It's an audio message. But dialed. Oh, nice. but dialed. Now we're recording. Oh, we're... <laughs> <laughs> Good. Good. All right. Here we are. Um, <laughs> grab day. Um, a few days after the long night. Was it Wednesday? Yeah. I don't even know what day it is anymore. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Four, four days or whatever. Okay. You're supposed to let it dry for 24 hours. The longer you let it go, the more it solidifies. So all the better. We but. should have plenty of dry time. And the same deal with the grout. Once you apply the grout, you should wait 24 hours. And actually, usually wait like 72 hours until you like fully do everything on it. So this is a Wednesday. We'll probably start working on it again on Friday. So that probably gives us plenty of time. We have a wet rag. We're going to wipe this down. Come over here. Looks pretty darn good. But there's always a little bit of film. I don't know if you can see the film. Focus on this area over here. And then some of the thin set, you know, got on the top of the tile. We tried to clean it off as much as possible. So it dried. It usually breaks off or just wipes off pretty easily and quickly. So I'm going to do that. We don't need to show me doing it the entire time. <laughs> and then we're going to mix this up, right? The pro grout. Pro grout. There's plenty of different types of grout. For the most part, you just mix it with water. Nothing all that special to it. So. And, and that's tonight's job. Mix the grout, slap it on there, and make sure it gets into all the grooves, and then wipe it off clean. So, pretty darn easy to do. And then we'll seal it later, even though it says it doesn't need to be sealed. We don't believe in labels. <laughs> cool. All right. So, there's a little bit of water in the bucket. You just kind of mix to your needs. Um, there's no real ratio. When you're mixing thin set, you, you kind of want both this to be the consistency of like toothpaste, so. Toothpaste is the answer. It's always the, the goal. <laughs> Gets kind of cloudy. Um, sure, let's yeah, look at Rob, man. It was like uh, it was like half a box. half a bottle, and we just barely opened it. Bottle box container. That's more of a container than a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not even mixing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling for it. Right? I'm just like, <laughs> thanks for the sympathy, <laughs> coughs. <laughs> so you mix, and then you wait, and then you mix again. Yes. That's what I read on the bottle. <laughs> Maybe I'll... <laughs> container? Container, or thank you, thank you. Um, six to nine minutes. No, six to eight minutes, not 69 minutes. <laughs> Wait an hour and a half, then come back. <laughs> Try to mix it again. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thin set from four or five days ago, four days ago, that we didn't use. Big blob. Like a big cow pie. <sighs> bring, bring this in, show Gavin. There's our cow pie. <laughs> <laughs> That's a flatter cow pie than normal. I had diarrhea. <laughs> Okay, we are now putting the grout on the tiles. I'll turn it on, though. And we're basically... You guys playing in the bathroom again? Yeah. That's what we do. I know. We're doing a little... Hey Dylan, we're on we're on video right here. We don't want wine. <laughs> this is the no wine video. <laughs> Wait, there's a <laughs> Do you want me to hold that and then you can uh, help? Uh, we're gonna trade positions. Oh. Well, he's not gonna film. I mean, he can film me, but. Huh? Huh? Um. You make it sound like I'm unwilling to film you. <laughs> <laughs> he really wanted to do this. <laughs> and didn't want me to. Just kidding. Yes. Yeah. 
So, this is the technique called the, the finger technique. Finger technique. Mm. It's to get into the corners. Smush it in there. It's not able to with the um, what's this thing called? Smushing thing. The grout 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 flout. The grout flout. <laughs> grout float. The grout float. The grout float. It floats the grout across the surface. And you want it to be. You want to go at a forty-five degree angle, or so I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> In my studies and what I've um, listening to certain experienced people <laughs> <laughs> talk about it. <laughs> they can just put this part on mute if they need to. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a lot of editing. I don't know what's going to get into it. Soon I'm going to take over, so I'm watching intently to see. So you're just floating it over. Do you want me to get a towel for you? Nah, I'm fine. I may survive. <laughs> so this is actually more liquidy than normal. We did have too much water in it, but not a huge deal. It will still do just fine. Just take a little bit longer to dry. But the more you actually leave it out on the tile, the cold tile will actually help dry it out as well. So I noticed this stuff is quite a bit thicker than the original stuff that we put on. Notice the 45 degree angles. <laughs> it's important. <laughs> I give you one fact and you run with it. <laughs> no, I'm just only saying what I know here. Do you want to make sure you don't lift the, the grout out of the... Uh, the crevices. <laughs> but, true story, if you go at a 45 degree angle to try and get as much into that crevice that you can, if you come at a straight angle, it pulls more out. So, by going at your 45 degree, it actually gets more in there. All also, right. one tile might be slightly taller than the other. It's usually better to go this way to make sure more gets in. You know, so if I come this way, it may scrape more out. So, the taller one being closer to you. Yeah, yeah. this one's taller. That one's not. Yeah. So you want to go that way. Yeah. So the same thing with the sponge too. Yeah. So when we come over with the sponge, it, we don't want to put too much pressure on the sponge, but ultimately we need to wipe all this out before it dries. Otherwise, it's a ridiculous to try and clean up. But. That's all there is to it. You groove it in and then use the sponge to kind of wipe up all the excess. And you'd yeah, use the same method just to kind of with 45 degree angles, try and clean up as much as you can without taking too much, you know, you don't want to soak up or groove it out. You just want to lightly cover the surface to not pull out too much. So I'll film you probably doing some sponging as well. All right. Luckily we have plenty. <laughs> Good thing we mixed the whole thing. Actually, we don't have as much as no. What do you think? No. But we definitely have enough to get by. Kind of like the night we did. So you want to definitely mix enough to do it in one round because like if you make, you know, say this stuff you did thin and then the next batch you did thick, you'd actually be able to tell a little bit of a difference in the consistency and everything across the floor, so. Wow. You can tell how experienced I am <laughs> with this. This all looks horrible. It's absolutely horrible. <laughs> I'm just... I'd say you just leave it as is. It kind of has a nice artistic look to it. Texture and... Right. Yeah. Did you get the way I... Um... I did not get your 45 degree angles, no. Oh, no. Let's, let's get that expert. How do I get this in here? How close do I need it? Yeah, what if it's on the wall like that? Also not a huge deal. Again, much like the thin set, we'll just have to chip that off before doing the base board. It'll just inhibit us from getting the baseboard nice and flat. It'll just make things harder to do later, but <laughs> it's fine. You're just creating more work for me. But... <laughs> Whoa. Were you kneeling and stuff the whole time? No, I don't think so. <laughs> but I don't know if I've... Like, right here, is that... Too far down? Do I need to try to get it in? Where's that? Like right here. 
Does it go? Yeah, put a little more up. Won't hurt. Did you just call me a moron? <laughs> <laughs> I neither <laughs> claim responsibility nor deny anything. Never gets old. Same old thing. So notice that even though we're focusing on the grooves, the you know there's very few places where it hasn't really completely covered the tile. So. When we get the sponge, it'll actually spread it around a little more and make it more consistent and all, but... Okay. 45. Huh? There. Two good swipes out of the whole batch. <laughs> <laughs> Do what you can. With most of this stuff, there's nothing technically hard. It's just kind of knowing what to do. Even if you don't have the right technique of the 45, as long as you know you fill the gaps in general, should be fine. All right. So notice John finished, and it looks like garbage. <laughs> and now I'm gonna start with this sponge, unless you want to. Go for it. <laughs> You're the man. A little nervous. The more work I have you do, the better, the better for me. Okay. So, so I'm doing 45 degree angles again. And that wasn't. That did not look like a 45 degree angle. Nor that one. Dang it. That one was slightly better. But so for this first coat, you're mainly just trying to like get up all the excess crap that's on the tile. Alright. Not need to be perfect because like you we'll have many times going over each of these tiles to clean up all the excess uh, crap. What about like that? So, I just accidentally. So because there's still plenty on the sponge, again, go at your 45 degree angles and like because there's gunk on the sponge, it will wipe off into the grooves as well. So like these are very rough cuts. As you know, you get cleaner tiles and you start and flip the sponge over and go to the other side. Well, I have to get my hands dirty. <laughs> <laughs> You're correct, sir. <laughs> Which is why I had you doing the first part. <laughs> Alright. 45, 45. Yeah. This this first one's really rough. You're mainly just trying to get all the excess. So even if nah, don't even by not doing a forty-five, you may pull up a little too much. But on the next one, you can just push it back into the grooves if need be. So it, right now it's pretty gunked up. So you need to actually pull it up, wash it, wash it. You basically just in this cold water. Should put warm water in. Also, the reason why I have you do this. Not knowing, I just filled it with water. We should make Allison do this for making us suffer through the herringbone. I don't want to take any fun away from your project. You're very considerate, Allison. I know. I'm so nice that way. I think my videography is actually better than yours, too. <laughs> what? Than Allison's? No way, not better than mine. Mm -mm. I'm a professional. So we're just kind of clearing right through the middle to allow us to like kneel a little bit on some yeah, of those tiles so that we can easier reach to the back end. But. <sighs> So I can just get like this. I see. Yeah, if it's not really pulling up too much gunk, that means the sponge is already full and you basically need to wipe it off again. But which one? It was this one and this one? Yeah, both of those look like there's tiny little there's grooves and you don't want grooves in the grout, so you basically wanna while the excess is on the tile, use that excess to wipe into the grooves. Kind of... Ooh, there's a big, big bunch of it. Oops, I just pull up. I'm not sure John has done a single 45 degree swipe yet. What, these are 45 like that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but how do you do 45 when they're at 90 degree angles? <laughs> how do you do it? <laughs> you see a 45 degree on. Okay, do 135 degrees then. I'm not sure that helped any. <laughs> Video update. Second round of sponge. So the first round we got all the heavy stuff off, and that got a lot of the sand and gunk in the water. You notice with each wipe this is cleaner now, but you can see how dirty and gross the water is already. So with each coat that you're pulling off, the water is going to get cleaner and cleaner, but you still, you know, for the last coat, you're going to want it to be, you know, almost spotless. Because even though this looks good over here, as it dries, you'll see quite a bit of a film. So at this point, you really are just kind of going over it one more time, let it dry for a half an hour, and then do another coat to wipe it off. Let it dry for a half an hour, do another coat. 
This has a little gunk on it, so if I try and do another wipe with that, it's going to make it dirty. So you basically just want to get your clean side. And then rinse it off again. Mm.